All right, we're in the home stretch of this first. Um, I guess we could have called it almost experimental section, but hopefully it's been it's been working out decently. So we're on number seventeen. Number seventeen, and it says if a plus two times x plus one is equal to s. What is x plus one in terms of s and a? So x plus one is essentially equal to what? So let's just take this equation, a plus. So what happens if we subtract a from both sides? Well, we get two times x plus one is equal to s minus a, right? I just subtracted a from both sides. Let me switch colors. And then if we divide both sides by two, we get x plus one is equal to s minus a over two. And I think we're done. That's it. That was choice B. And it, it was actually surprising to see a problem that took so little time this late in the test, because they normally get kind of harder as you go through. And, and I guess the reason why this is a little tricky is a lot of people's uh, initial would be, I don't know, initial motivation would be to try to solve for x and then try to figure out what x plus 1 equals. But the trick is to just not break apart this x plus 1. I mean, you could kind of view this as a variable once again, like we a couple of problems ago, where you don't they they you have to avoid distributing this two out. If you just keep it as x plus one and you solve for x plus one, you get very quickly to s minus a over two, which is choice b. The next problem, number eighteen, we are in the home stretch, and this is normally when the problems get on the difficult side. So let me clear this because this looks like it might take some space. Image invert colors. So shaded region above. So let me draw the shaded region above. So let me see. This is that's the y-axis. Oh man, I want to draw it straight, but anyway, I'll deal. I'll deal. Can't always be perfect. So this is the y-axis. This is the x-axis, and then I have this neat-looking curve. It looks something like this. It looks something like this. All right, the curve keeps going, and it's let's see, it draws off some points. So it's like you know one, two, three, four, and then it draws this boundary line here. It draws this this boundary line at four. So it's like this, and then they shade. They shade the region, and I have a quite feeling they're going to ask about the shaded region. So let's also, actually, let me, let me, because I'm going to use the, the shaded in tool. So let me, let me make sure that I, I don't end up filling up the whole screen. So I want to make sure that I close all the gaps. So now let me use the shaded in tool. Shaded in tool. Ah, oh, there it worked out. All right. So what are they saying? The shaded region in the figure above. The shaded region in the figure above is bounded by the x-axis, that's this. The line x equals 4, that's this line. right? And the graph y equals f of x, that's this. That's the brown line. y is equal to f. I never use gray. Maybe I should use gray sometimes. Oh, no, I don't like gray. Anyway, green. If the point a, b lies in the shaded region, so they, we don't know where. It's someplace in this. Let me use a darker color. Let me use navy blue. If this point a, b. A, B is someplace in the shaded region. Which of the following must be true? And they have choice number one. And I have to use a lighter color. Choice number one is that A is less than or equal to 4. Choice number two is that B is less than or equal to A. And choice number three is that B is less than or equal to f of a. f of a. Interesting. So we know that a, b is in this gray region, so it's someplace you know around there. So let's. So if that's a, b, so that means that this point, and I, it's not exact. a, b could have been anywhere in this gray area, but let's say that this point is a, and we know that this point, if we just draw here, is b. So we know a couple of things. We know that a is someplace. Between zero, between zero and four, right? We know A is someplace between zero and four. 
So that means that a is less than or equal to 4 because it can be it could it could be 4 because we're including the boundary. So this is correct. We know this is true. Let's see. We also know, well, we don't we don't know whether let's see b is less than a. How can we come to that conclusion? Cuz I mean if the point was if we had the point that was like right well, even where it's here, but if let's say this point, let's say that this point was our a b, then I mean just eyeballing it, just looking at the graph, it just looks. I mean we don't know. We I mean it looks like b in this situation would be larger than a, right? So I I definitely don't think we can make that conclusion. At least there's no obvious way to make that conclusion, right? B could because we don't know what f of x is. F of x could be you know really steep and have a really high slope, in which case b would grow faster than a at this point, you know, at, earlier on. So I don't think that this is right. So this is not right. And then let's see, is b less than f of a? So what is f of a? If this is point a, what is f of a? Well, f of a is going to be right here. This is f of a, right? This is f of a. And no matter where you draw it, b is definitely going to be less than f of a. If you, if you, if you picked this as our point, right? And if you said that this is b and that this is a, then this would be f of a. This would be f of a in bloody red. And b would still be less than f of a, right? Because no matter, because b is in the shaded region that is less than f of a, essentially. So we also know that this last term is correct. Hopefully that makes sense. If this one doesn't make sense, I want you to experiment with it, and and you'll you'll see. But we're essentially saying that the point is is, in the, you know, it's all the x, it's all the y values uh, less than f of x, right? This is the shaded region, essentially. So let's see, what choice is that? 1 and 3. 1 and 3 only, that is choice D. D as in dog. All right, number 19. I don't know if we're going to have time for this. Might have to do it in the, in the next video. Actually, let's just do it in the next video, because I have two more problems, and I'm going to have to have another video no matter what. So I'll see you in